the 16-year-old girl who was left seriously injured after being pushed off a 60-foot bridge into a river by a friend has spoken out from hospital saying she could have easily died. Jordan Holgerson suffered five broken ribs and a punctured lung after she plunged into Molten Falls on the Lewis River in Yakult, Washington on Tuesday. The teenager spoke out from hospital on Thursday after the footage of her being pushed went viral. I could have died. Easily. She told reporters. In midair. I think I might have blacked out. She told Coin. But I was aware and awake when I hit the water. Jordan said someone immediately swam out to rescue her after she hit the water. She was then rushed to Peace Health Southwest Washington Medical Center in Vancouver, Washington. Janelle Holgerson, the girl's mother, said Jordan suffered five cracked ribs and internal injuries. She also suffered a bruised esophagus, an injured trachea, air bubbles in her chest and a punctured lung. She is lucky she is not paralyzed or dead, Holgerson told Thoroughbred Daily News. She is alert but in pain and is very tired. We're lucky she is going to recover and not have permanent injuries. It remains unclear how long Jordan will have to be hospitalized. She's expecting to be in pain for roughly six weeks. The terrifying ordeal was captured on video as Jordan stood on the 60-foot high ledge with her friends gathered behind her. No, I won't go in. Jordan can be heard telling her friends as they try to pressure her to jump off the bridge. She tells her friends no a second time in the video, but the group still rallies to get her to leave. Then, suddenly, one man asks ready and a female friend is seen shoving Jordan off the bridge. The teen plunged into the water below and landed with a horrifying thud as her friends gasped. Oh, that's so FD. Someone can be heard saying off camera. Jordan's mother has since revealed that the friend who pushed Jordan into the water is an adult. I'm very upset with her, said the mother of four, who believes the woman should turn herself in. She is an adult, and I'm sure she should have known better. Jordan said her friend has since said sorry, but that her apologies are not enough. I could have died, she said. It could have ended a lot worse, is what I'm thinking about. Jordan's sister Caitlin said she confronted the friend on social media, saying a true friend wouldn't have done that. Friends don't push someone from that high so I was peed, Caitlin said. She pretty much said that she was sorry for doing it and she wouldn't have done it if she knew the outcome of it and that she knows it was an absurd thing to do. I think the girl that pushed her should have some sort of consequence because you won't learn your lesson if you think you can could do that again and think it will be fine. Ashley Marie, the woman who posted the shocking clip to YouTube, also said she believes the woman who pushed Jordan should go to jail. This looks to be almost criminal. This could have easily taken a life. Marie wrote in the YouTube description. I think this girl needs to be held accountable in some way. Clark County Fire Chief Ben Peeler confirmed it is illegal to jump from the bridge. The Clark County Sheriff's Office is currently investigating the incident.